Hello everyone, today we are at Wear Clinic and I am Asena and today we are here with Peter Graham who is an actor in Hollywood. So how are you today, Graham? Uh, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm a little bit uh, a little bit sore but overall excited about uh, the procedure yesterday. How was that? I think it went well. It, feel, it feels good. Everyone seems to be happy and, uh, you know, a lot less painless than I thought it was going to be. I think overall, um, just an easier and smoother operation from start to finish than, than I originally thought. So, um, you had different people around you when you were having the operation, like the interpreters and the medical team. Were you happy with them? How was your experience overall with the stuff? Yes, I, I mean, everyone I came in contact with was very kind and very thorough and very helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I felt comfortable asking a lot of questions and I felt like all the questions I asked got answered very thoroughly. And so I think sometimes when you're in a place like getting a procedure done, it's easy to get a little stressed or nervous, but um, what really helps is that when you feel like you, you know, can trust everybody around you. And um, that's how I felt yesterday. I felt like I was in really great hands. Mm -hmm. So um, since you're an actor, you know, of course it plays an important role in your life that having hair. So um, about that part, how did you decide like to have a hair transplant? Yeah, I, I don't think I'm a talented enough actor to be a bald actor. Uh, so I think I got to just have everything I got going with me or, or get better at acting. But, um, you know, right now it looks like maybe I should get do the hair first. Uh, <laughs> just because, you no, know, I think I think it just can help you, uh, you know, maybe uh, be more versatile. And it was just something that um, I was a little insecure about for for a long time and then i thought you know it's uh something i can change so why not okay so how did you start realizing that something was off about your hair i think i started losing it at like my uh early 20s and uh and then i started just you know i'd wear hats a lot of the time or if i didn't and then because i i guess yeah, so i think i just kind of got tired of wearing hats and i thought See. That's the that's issue. Yeah, like, sometimes I'd do my hair, I'd put an outfit on, and then I'd forget it, then I'd throw a hat on, and I'd be like, well, now, now my outfit doesn't match wearing a hat, so now I gotta take it off and wear it. Yeah, yeah. from... Is that okay? And uh, since you finally had it done, how do you think it will affect your life in the future? Like, um, you will, of course, have a front line which frames your face and everything, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I will affect, I think, I think it'll be nice having a little bit more confidence and something that I'm not worrying about because you know, now after going through it and it was just really easy and painless, I'm like, oh man, that was, that was nice. So it's just something that kind of, yeah, I, am, but I don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah. So that'll be nice. Okay, great. So you'll be able to all around more confident and of course it will have a positive effect in your job as well. You know, that's what I think, but knowing myself up, I, I might not ever get there, but uh, you know, hopefully it helps. Yeah, it will for sure. So then we, you know, like um, think about Hollywood and everything and acting. So, um, you know, like which Hollywood star has the best year in your opinion? Maybe Danny DeVito. I mean, you know, I don't know, Michael Douglas has a good head of hair for his age. Maybe Thor. Oh, thank you. you know, the whirling with the hammer. for it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He has good hair, right? <laughs> he does. He does. What do you think? Jenner is, maybe? Oh, yeah. He's got a good head. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. If you had the ability to change an actor's hair, who would it be? Can I do a character? Like, I, I think... Sure. I would do. I would do George Costanza from from Seinfeld. I, I'd send him to Vera Clinic because I think he'd really like that. I think he'd really enjoy that. So we'll have another question over here. That yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. And um, is there someone that you're jealous of their hair? Probably anybody that lives in Turkey because I don't know what it is about Turkey, but we all do. you guys just have so much. I mean, you guys have the hairline of like a a Lego. So the whole Turkish population, I'm jealous of. Yeah. Yeah, we have we owe it to the jeans, and they, yeah. you see Turkish men always like <laughs> yeah, thank you. fluffy hair. They got it. <laughs> and um, 
There is one question. Do you prefer a bad hair cut or bad hair dye? I think I'd go with the bad hair dye. Mm -hmm. Imagine if it's purple or green. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I think I'd still take that. There, there's nothing worse than a bad haircut. Right. And then just driving home after you have that. They, they say, how is it? You go, oh, yeah, great, great, great. Then you're in the car going, what? I'm so, so, so. Okay, great. So um, Peter Graham here, and he just had the hair transplant in Rare Clinic. And that was it for today. So Fair. hopefully we'll all see you in the future because you will have a reason hair, right? That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All right. But I'll still come back. I'll come back and visit because you guys are so nice. <laughs> <laughs>